I was, yeah, I, I, um, I was just so scared, you know, because I didn't know if people were going to turn up or what. And um, when I went on stage that first, I mean, just because we had the visuals, we had the, um, you know, the, the crest flag walking back, you know, just repeating and stuff. And once that came on, the f this enormous roar went up, and I was like, oh, fuck. And uh, I went out there, and it was just everyone, I was just shocked by what, because everyone was just smiling. And all the way through, and from the start to the finish, everyone was shouting the songs along, and people right up on the top, you know, it's like a very, uh, people up there sort of, you know, waving and stuff like that. And I was trying to make eye contact with anybody, of course you can't, it's impossible. But I just remember sort of, Think you know, I really wanted to smile back at them, but I couldn't because I was doing the, I was doing my Steve England crest, and I wanted to I wanted to perform it as closely as possible as I used to, and I still do. You know, I still try and get the voice, even though I'm a lot older. I try and get it as close as possible. <coughs> um, and no, I just found the whole thing <coughs> really, really moving. You know, that people and people of my age down there, you know, and, and people sort of haven't seen each other for a long time and and meeting and and stuff like that, you know. And, I just thought, it's, and I just thought that really is one in the eye for the old sceptics and stuff, you know, because it, we've, it's just been, I know certain people were, were sceptical about it, I know, you know, you weren't too sure about it and all that stuff, you know. Um, G, of course, did the classic, came in a dressing room, I don't know how she got in a dressing room, because she didn't have a backstage, anyway, she comes in and, uh, <coughs> and uh, Bob goes, what do you reckon, G? And she went, Oh, I don't know, really, I suppose it could have been better. And I was like, every time she says that, every fucking time, I'm like, well, don't you sit on that sphinx, it's going to split you up in the middle. So, uh, anyway, she ended up agreeing that she sort of likes it. I, oh, I don't know what Penn would have thought. Well, he should have bloody been here, shouldn't he? Um, but no, I think, and that proved to me, it's like, no, it is possible to do this. I'm not shitting or pissing on, you know, crassy strawberries or the myth of it. I'm just, for one last time, presenting it as sort of decently and as respectfully as possible. You know, the musicians that are working with me are, are some of the finest I've ever had the privilege to work with. Um, and we, we're really working hard at it. Um, the visuals that we use now, you know, really fit in. It's not nuclear bombs and stuff. It's, you know, as you know, it's like images of people when they were younger. And, that, and that's really sort of moving and, and emotional because it, it, that just fits in with the lyrics more than a, you know, an atom bomb cloud. What we did was we said, well, look, you know, we want to do the visuals and we didn't want to run in a mill, you know, what do you do, riot police, like conflict use, all that sort of thing. No, I didn't want to do that. Or do you have nuclear bombs going off? Or do you have these horrible images? And no, I don't want, oh, no, I'm fed up with that. And it's like, well, maybe some people won't be able to get the shows or, or you know, it, it would be nice, you know, um, because we can't film them all. If people send in a photograph of what they were like when they were younger, um, it don't matter if they was a little baby on a rug or something, but you know, so all these people have sent in pictures of themselves as, as punks and stuff like this, and every night it's on a slideshow, so it's, you know, if you send a picture in, you are going to be live on stage. So, um, and that's the way, with, and it's a really nice thing, and I think people really, really like that. Mm. And I think it's really gorgeous, you know, it's, Sweet little angelic punks, you know, and so you see them in the bar, half all bold like me. All right, <laughs> all right so you've got to go, babysitter. Hey, all right, mate, I'll see you later. <laughs> nice one. Right, Spiky Smith on drums. <coughs> um, originally, I was going to use uh, Von Ritchie right at um, Shepherd's Bush, but he couldn't do it. Um, he had a prior engagement with uh, the Toad Hose. Got Spiky Smith on drums. Bob Butler, who, who was with me in Schwarzenegger on bass because um, he's a good old rock steady, and Gizbat on lead guitar, uh, and he's in a band called... Uh, more I See. That's it, The More I See. I'm forgetting, it's such a catchy little handle, that. <laughs> uh, and he's worked with a prodigy and all this sort of stuff. And then we did have on, on female vocals, we had a uh, woman called Becky Strong, um, who did um, the UK and Europe with us. But she had to pull out um, for personal reasons, so we've got a new female vocalist called uh, Carol, and um, she's rehearsed the day for the first time, but she's already got all the lyrics down, so, Excellent. yeah, really, okay. she's great, she's really good, we had to audition for that, and that was really weird, embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, we're going to, I think we're going to bang in a couple of, um, of, di of different Crest songs, uh, to sort of beef it up a bit. Um, and I think what we'll do, well, probably what we'll do is we'll change the order of the set as well. I'd like quite like to change the order because we, the one we did in Europe, I think we should do something different for for the states, so it's a little bit special for them.
I mean, it might be a drastic sort of change, but it'll just be different, you know. So tonight, we would go out. Maybe we could talk about that a little bit with them or tomorrow or something. But yeah, that's basically what we'll do. Is because I've got all the songs in the head anyway, um, and we'll, we'll do a little rehearsal tomorrow with Cal and stuff um, again, and then we'll sort of take it from there, sort of snipping the other ones. Um, yeah, because I th I thought um, I thought maybe there would be some sort of response. Um, but I thought that would be more curiosity from a younger generation, you know, because when I played there with um, Stratford Mercenaries, that's what it tended to be like, very young people, and really sort of punk, you know, my big Mohicans and things. Um, but I think, you know, I don't know why, but because it's actually doing the crash songs and because of the success of the European leg that we've done, I think people have really, you know, sort of now they know this is the last chance, and I think people are coming out, you know, and I think now they, that now they know it's not just a rock and roll, John Lydon, Sex Pistol, you know, take the piss really thing. It's serious, you know, and uh, so I'm, I'm, I think that's why it's been, you know, I mean, I think one venue in Montreal or something like that, that puts on for two or move it to a bigger venue or something because the ticket sales went ballistic. So that's really good, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to going to Canada because I've never been there. Um, but what I'm really looking forward to, and it might sound odd, uh, I mean we've got a big fuck off bus which is quite embarrassing to do the states in, but you've, you've got to have it really, because some of the drives are going to be like three days and all this sort of stuff. Um, and we did that because it was the cheapest way of doing it, before I get all the bloody PC crowds and, yeah. <laughs> uh, well you do it in a bloody transit van then, you know, so you go, oh dear, anyway. So I'm looking forward to actually if we do go across the Midwest and sort of that sort of thing, and I'm really hoping that if we go close enough, that we can maybe sort of stop off at somewhere called Wounded Knee, which is one of the last. It's where the Seventh Cavalry sort of you know basically murdered a, a load of Oglala Sioux Indians and wiped them out, you know, just made them extinct. And I read a book years ago called Bury My Heart at Wounded Knee, and uh, and I remember there was there was going to be a a big fight because I think the American government had this wanted to take um, oil or dig for gold in in the Red Hills, I think they've got all the badlands, uh, and it's a very sacred area for the Native Americans or whatever they're called now. I don't know. Um, but I'd re if we get a chance, I'd really, really like to go there just to go and look, put a bunch of flowers there or something. I don't know, something silly. Um, well, I'm also really looking forward to uh, we're performing with a band called Aslan Underground, and. Um, they're not Native American, but they do sing in a in a particular. I think it's an Inca language or, or something like that. Um, but a very strange rap style, and they used to. I think they were influenced or inspired by Crass. Um, so I'm really looking forward to meeting them, because I've always had an empathy with, with with the Native Americans. It's a bit like the Romanis and the Gypsy, Gypsies, or a travelling community in this country that I've always felt that they've been hard done by and you know, all that kind of stuff, so I'm not being patronising or nothing, but I just really am looking forward to it, you know, and learning some more.